Hi, this is Dr. Stephen Bach. Today I'm going to talk about Lyme and the nervous system. Uh, the Lyme bacteria goes to the nervous system. That's the reservoir. It probably takes one to two weeks after getting a bite that it migrates to the uh, nervous system. And it could present as peripheral nerve problems, which is the, the nerves go into the arms and legs and the rest of the body. And that could present as numbness and tingling, weakness and pain along the the nerves. If it goes to the CNS or the central nervous system, which includes the brain, the spinal cord, that will mostly present as a constellation of symptoms. And that can include headache. By the way, if you have a Lyme headache, it's usually posterior, back of the head and neck. If you have a Babesia headache, that could be in the vertex. And if you have a Bartonella headache, that could be in the frontal area. Now, these are just guidelines any one of these um, infections can cause multiple symptoms. When you're dealing with the brain, you see a constellation of symptoms, a pattern that makes sense. And this could be the headaches, like I said, it could be mood disturbance, irritability, uh, memory problems, focus problems, concentration problems. It can also present as things like OCD, school phobia, it could present as schizophrenia, I've seen schizophrenia caused by Lyme disease. Um, now, one thing to understand is that if your doctor is considering a Lyme disease diagnosis, he may send you to a neurologist. The way neuro neurologists diagnose Lyme disease is by doing a spinal tap. But this is a, an error because you want to do a spinal tap if you think you might have meningitis or any other brain problem to rule out instead of Lyme disease. But if you have 100 patients who have Lyme disease and you do a spinal tap, only 35% of them will have a positive Lyme test. That's in proven cases of Lyme in the brain. So it is really not for diagnosis problems. It is really for ruling out any other causes. I hope this is helpful.